We just wrapped an incredible weekend here in Baltimore, Maryland. Yup, and before we do anything, let's go around the league. Woo! Friday night, Matt Rambo led the charge with five points, and we had the return of Zed Williams, who had one goal and an assist. Rambo fires and has another. It's a four-piece for Matt Rambo in Baltimore tonight. We've been tied three times, make it four, and Zed Williams is back in the goal column, his first one of the PLL season. And the Water Dogs got their first win here at Homewood. Friday night. Cardinal 10 to shoot. Down low, scooped up by Sowers. Connor Kelly banged two from deep in the Dogs' 18 to 9 win over Chaos. A two bomb. It's another one for Connor Kelly. Two two pointers for Kelly tonight. I know I had to let it fly. I didn't, I didn't get one the last, I think, shot in the last three games, so I had to let it fly tonight. Also, Chaos fans, don't fret. 2020, remember in the bubble, Chaos started off 0 4, made it to the championship game. Don't lose hope just yet. And another close victory this past weekend. The Atlas had a big win over the Archers. Once again, Baptiste wins the faceoff and scores the goal. It's his third of the season. Trevor Baptiste went 86% on the night, helping his team pull off that big win. When we play together, we're, we're really great. And Chrome had the comeback of the year. Incredible finish here at Homewood for the Chrome. Chrome has life. Trailing by five goals with just over six and a half minutes remaining. Jesse Bernhardt, Marafanko inside. Nick Dern on the board. It's a two point game. Up top, Terrafenko fakes it inside. Tie ball game. They stormed all the way back to beat the Cannons in overtime to remain undefeated. It's over! Mike Messenger, the hero of Baltimore! I'm getting too old for all this. I don't have a champion of the weekend. I have champions of the weekend, plural. Mike Messenger and Connor Farrell. Are we just gonna celebrate tonight? Yeah, we'll have a couple. <laughs> Let's go. Both came up clutch for their clubs late in this game here in Baltimore. Farrell went 64% at the X tonight with a majority of those wins coming late in the ball game when the team needed him the most. It seemed like every must win late in the game into overtime came up chrome thanks to Connor Farrell. Mike Messinger had two goals on the night, two caused turnovers, also this bone-crushing hit on Asher Nolting. Oh, that one hurts to watch back. Dude, I can't believe you pulled that off. My champion of the weekend goes to Matt Rambo, who led his team with four goals and one assist and the tremendous rivalry between the Whips and the Redwoods. Pouring it on now as Matt Rambo has himself a hat trick. I caught up with him post game to discuss the win, but also what it's like to have his teammate Zed Williams back. I'm sure we'll see them in the playoffs. We do every year. What a feed from Williams, and what a finish from Jay Carlson. Like I always say, he's the best. He's quiet, he's humble, but he's mean as hell, and uh, we're just happy to have him back. This week on my rookie radar is Asher Nolting. He stepped up big time this week for the Cannons. Nolting is a Mack truck. <laughs> He led his team with six points, four goals, three of which were assisted by Lyle Thompson. Oh, the backhand. Oh, the fake. And the goal. Asher Nolting from Lyle Thompson. They are on fire. The future is bright for this young star, and I think we're going to hear Lyle to Asher pretty frequently this season. Speaking of bright futures for young stars in this league, Matt Moore with his third straight hat trick. Matt Moore has a hat trick now. On this season. Yep. Even though the Archers lost, Cannons lost well with Ash's yeah. performance. Two rookies that showed out in the week that we just needed to highlight for you. Yeah. This weekend, my moment of the weekend goes to Marcus Holman because he moved up to number 10 in all-time career points right behind his teammate and friend Will Manny. Oh! And this goal here moves him an inch closer up the all-time professional lacrosse scoring chart. Yeah, that goal ties him for 10th all-time. I caught up with AU professional lacrosse player Alex Oss, who's also his wife, to talk about what this moment playing on Homewood Field means to him. I mean, it's my favorite. I'm like smiling ear to ear. So Marcus literally 
from Baltimore. His dad went to Hopkins, grew up coming to these games, you know. He tells me Homewood is his favorite field to play on because it just this is this atmosphere. It's a culture of lacrosse, it's a culture of excellence, it's a culture of knowing the sport and how much it means to people. So I love watching him do his thing because he works so hard and he loves his team so much. So I just love seeing him go out there and crush it. My moment of the week is going to me getting mistaken for Mikey Slosher. Is RJ Kaminsky checking out the goal with Michael Sowers? That's not RJ. It's the same, it's the same level of hair. It's, it's, it's a it, doppelganger. It, 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 he absolutely has more voluminous hair. I think that's the right word, voluminous. Anyway, it's got mistaken for him on the broadcast. I'm flattered. I'm absolutely flattered. Had to give Drew and Quint a tough time in the booth after, uh, after seeing that clip on Twitter. He said you're a body double <laughs> with Mikey Slosser. But Mikey, for real, flat. I'm absolutely flat. Get him a mustache. Which one's RJ? Which one's Mikey? <laughs> I don't know. We're looking ahead to Minneapolis next week. What I'm looking forward to in particular is a potential repeat performance from Lyle Thompson. You guys like Lyle Thompson? We got the Lyle Thompson fan club behind us. He absolutely snapped for the cannons last time we were there. And just in case he doesn't, we're going to have fireworks anyway. We're headed to Mini, which means all games next week are on E+. So this is your notice to download E+, if you don't already have it. Oh, hang on. I actually have, I have, hang on. Speaking of E+, we have hats every game next week. Yeah. So make sure you download it. It's necessary to watch all the games. So make sure you have E+. This is the weekend to get it if you don't. Also, one of the perks of just hanging around the stadium, we're gonna give these guys the extra stuff that we have. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Oh, oh yes, yeah, we got oh, the yes, yeah. So, last thing to remember, get E plus for next week. I think that's it. You guys yeah. got anything else? Uh, Pound it. Now nah, again. <laughs> See ya! Let's go! Okay. All right, I guess we're gonna end on that. We'll see you in mini.